Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. There is turmoil in Uda. Kimani Ichumwa has opened war with Johnston Mudama, accusing Johnston Mudama of being a mole. So in this video, I want us to have a look at a screenshot sent by Kimani Ichumwa, alleging that Johnston Mudama is a mole. For that's going to form the basis of our analysis and the discussion right now. Before we have a look at that uh, screenshot, in case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. There is a popular blogger by the name Wahome Duku. Wahome Duku some minutes ago, taking to his Facebook account, had this to say, Wahome Duku, Ichumwa crying, he advertently posted the screenshot in a group called Uteti wa Kiambu, Kiambu Politics. Mudama is a good Kenyan. Why is Ichumwa attacking him? He is the chairman of the Oda party. Why go that low on him? Then Duku has shared that screenshot allegedly sent by Kimani Chumwa. Kimani Ichumwa. Mavoko ni kubaya kura za ruto zinaibiwa. Mudama is a mole. What's he doing? No agents. Let me check. Thus, Kimani Ichumwa alleging that Johnston Mudama is a mole. And the reason for being accused <coughs> the reason for the accusation is that he has not maybe employed or is not posting agents in Mavoko. That's why he's being called a mole. What does that mean politically? If you look at Johnston Mudama, his chances of winning Machakos gubernatorial seat are almost zero. Johnston Mudama most likely won't be able to win that seat. And also if you look at Johnston Mudama, upon joining William Ruto, Johnston Mudama's politics in Ukambani has been dwindling. And as I speak, Johnston Mudama cannot deliver votes to William Ruto. On that basis alone, I'm seeing some William Ruto's close associates, the likes of Kimani Chumwa, now just looking down upon Johnston Mudama. They believe he cannot deliver any votes to them. That's what I'm seeing here. So in, in, in other words, William Ruto has used Johnson Mudama, and now Ruto is just cleverly dumping Johnston Mudama. William Ruto has no use of Johnston Mudama. And that is so because upon Alfred Mutua joining William Ruto, William Ruto elevated Alfred Mutua to a higher position than Johnston Mudama. In that William Ruto actually had Alfred Mutua as his kingpin in lower in Ukambani I mean. And then upon also Sonko joining, then Johnson Mudama's goose was now just cooked permanently. So they are seeing no need of Johnson Mudama. They have used him, they are now dumping him. That's one thing I'm seeing here. And then secondly, it might actually be true that order has no agents in Mavoko. It might actually be true. And that's also an indication that order as a party are not all that strategic. These are things they ought to have, to have confirmed even before the D-Day. I tend to believe as it is right now, it might be a little bit late. Mm. Uh -huh. Getting new agents and starting to train them, I know it will, it will be late, but now it's just remaining 
some few hours to the elections. So it shows clearly that William Ruto and his team are very good when they talk in public rallies outside there, but strategically, they are not very smart politically. That's what I'm seeing here again. And the mere fact that the order has no agents in Mavoko is also a confirmation that order as a party might not be all that strong, or rather is not strong in Mavoko, Machakos County. That's also something coming out clearly. And I'm saying that because if the party was strong in Mavoko, in Machakos County, I don't think having getting agents or having agents could have been issued. Lack of agents might be an indication that that area might be hostile to other agents. So nobody is willing to offer himself as an agent. Also, the few who are offering to maybe offer themselves as agent, they might be demanding for a lot of money owing to the risks. That's a proof and a confirmation that order as a party is very weak in Mavoko, Machakos County. And that paints a very bleak picture to William Ruto's bid, especially on his quest to win the Ukambani vote. Because now, it shows clearly, it will take William Ruto a miracle again, just as I've been saying, to make some serious inroads, or rather to win some serious votes, rather significant votes, in Machakos County, and largely in Ukabani. And from that kind of a, a claim again, I'm seeing total confusion in order. Kimani Ichumwa is accusing Oda chairman of being a mole. You are saying is accusing the Oda chairman of being a mole. That also means that in Oda, some people are being looked down upon. There are those who are rated as high and some are just being looked down upon. And it just reinforces the notion that Oda is a two-tribe affair. It's all about Kalenjins and Kikuyus. Other communities in order are being looked down upon. If somebody like Kimani Chungwa, without even a portfolio in order, can accuse the chairman of being a mole, that just shows clearly that in order, <laughs> there are people who are being valued while others are being looked down upon. Especially if you come from an area considered to be hostile to order then you don't have any say in Uda. That just goes on to prove again that Johnston Mudama is just in Uda, <coughs> is just there, mm. but his input in Uda is not being taken seriously. He's just being seen as a baggage. That's also something I'm seeing as a result of those accusations by Kimani Chuma. And even before I conclude, I honestly believe that in the event William Ruto emerges the winner in this year's election, then the same Kalenjin, Kikuyu ethnic domination against other Kenyan communities are most likely going to continue. I'm seeing a situation where it will just be power rotating between Kikuyus or rather the Gamer communities and the Kalenjins. It's something that will just continue. And that's why it's very important that Kenyans should turn out in large numbers to cast their votes to actually break away from that yoke of ethnic domination. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. In case you are watching us for the very first time, but so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. To any other person, that's the kind of analysis we do here. We don't beat about the bush. We go straight on to the point. 
we say things as they are without fear or favor. In case you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. God bless you. God bless Kenya. And uh, it's just remaining some few hours. I'm almost leaving for the polling stations. Because just as I did say in my earlier videos, by 5 a.m. in the morning, I will be at my polling station ready to cast my vote. Let's all go and vote. God bless you. God bless Kenya.